Hello YouTube! <laughs> Alright, uh, today I'm going to teach you how to make an application that will copy itself to the store tab pad of the computer. Store tab pad is basically uh, a folder in which programs run when you log in into your account on your system. Alright, I'm going to use Visual Studio 2010 but it should work with all the older versions all right I'm, first i'm gonna create a new project uh, i'm gonna name it copy to start up all right uh, we're gonna need three text boxes and one button Basically, the first two text boxes are just gonna show that our application is working properly. And the third one is going to show us the actual path to, to start up. To start up. And with this button, we're gonna copy the application to that path. Alright, uh, now we're gonna enter the code mode. Um, before the form 1 load, type in dimios and don't forget these two. Uh, these two characters, they are very important. Yes, demo is a string and the username a string. I hope you can understand that. And then into the load, we're gonna enter this code. Alright, basically what it does. This changes the OS string to my computer info to the name of the US but it splits it so we can only get the all right uh, the full US name is Windows Microsoft Windows 7 and with with, with uh, the split function we're gonna split it so we will just get the 7 out of the full name um, it's the same here we're gonna we want the username, so we'll just split the whole name of user, which is in this case name of computer, this character, and the actual username. Alright, this code is going to display the 7 or XP, the Windows you run, to the text box one. And this one is going to display the username to the text box too. Uh, here we're gonna if you're on XP, then the code, then the text in text box three is gonna be this path because A XP and Twista and seven have different startup paths. So, if the user is using the XP, this goat is gonna use, and if he, he uses 7, then this code is gonna be using. Alright, uh, we wanna also add the code to this button. Uh, you can get all the code in description. Alright, what this code does is basically copy the application to the text in text box 3, which is this. Uh, and if it fails, it displays an error, could not copy file. Alright, let's, let's test this application. Here we can see the US, which is, as you can see, 7, the username. And the startup path. 
it's including the exe file so if we go to the, this folder you can see that I'm go I am that I'm in the startup folder which is the same folder as here um, alright so now we're gonna copy the program to startup and here it is alright uh, that was it thanks for watching I hope I teach you something new um, I don't think there are many videos for the startup path on YouTube so thanks for watching